Claiming heritage sounds like such a serious subject, but isn't humour part of culture? Jason Goliath explores the funny side of being South African, so I decided to sample the menu at his comedy club. The exteriors poke a face, but the punchline was hidden inside. When I think about Mamelodi Sundowns, and I think about what dance moves would be associated with Mamelodi Sundowns, the first dance move that comes to mind is definitely Kwaito. The trick that I found out about Kwaito is, you've got to pull your tongue out, because there's a Kwaito face. <laughs> Kwaito, it's not anger, it's passion. Aimo! Aimo! Don't tell him I said it, but Jason Goliath has become a heavyweight on the South African comedy scene. He has a huge appetite for life and apparently also bunny chow. So I'm very much looking forward to going a few rounds with him at the Goliath Comedy Club. Hello! Jason! Now I gotta do... Oh! <laughs> Hello! How are you? So good, so good. Jason always plays my husband in the industry. I do, I do. I always get to play a husband and never actually be a husband. It's become well, the story of my life. No, no, no. With all this cake, we can make an arrangement. Yeah, I can stack five different colors. I mean, let's make some phone calls and have a wedding today. You're go. all invited. Come to the wedding. Come. Have you always wanted to have your own comedy club? Man, I, I wish I could say I've always wanted it, but it's kind of been beyond a dream. The fact that every morning when I get here, it, it still blows my mind that it exists and it has my name on it. It all just makes no sense, man. And how did it all come about? Goliath and Goliath has been around for about four years now and uh, we've been producing comedy shows for just over four years. To be able to build this, which was the third comedy club on the African continent, was a dream for us and uh, it all just kind of came together. Take me around and when I mean take me around, I mean take me to the cake. This is the cake, end of tour. That's basically... <laughs> thank you very much, this insert is yeah, over. Thank you, bye. <laughs> the, the, the front of the shop is Rose Cafe. We have our own bakery, we bake our own cakes, we bake our own breads. And then this is a wall of doors that opens up at night into the comedy club. Let me show you where oh the magic God. happens. This is where the magic happens. I never thought you'd say that to me. So this is uh, the Goliath Comedy Club. This is amazing. It's literally, I'm seeing a dream come true. That's what I see every day. So obviously this is my favorite part, which is, which is the stage. <laughs> I love comedy and I've been to so many comedy clubs all over the world and this is by far one of the sexiest I've been to. I'm so happy that you say that because we were very ambitious when we started the project. So our business partners are the guys from the venue and the venue and Goliath and Goliath kind of came together and we said, if we're going to build a comedy club at Melrose Arch, let's build the best comedy club in the world. And I feel like it could stand with any comedy club in the world. We're very proud of it. Where did your love of comedy start? I shot a commercial with some guys and they, after shooting the commercial, were like, dude, you're too funny. Why are you not doing stand-up? And I was like, guys, I'm bright funny with my friends, not stage funny. And they were like, dude, promise us you'll try it once. You don't have to do it as a job, but we think you'll love it. Try it once. And uh, I'm eternally grateful to them because they changed my life. So people think comedy is just about laughs, but there's a huge business aspect to it. When you look at comedy models from around the world, like you go to New York, there's over 100 comedy clubs just in the city. And I was just like, guys, we've got to have more platforms to grow the industry because this is our business. This is where we kind of make our bread and butter. The industry is now very quickly evolving and business is, uh, well, funny business is a business. So I know your folks are from Durban. Yes. And I also might have a baby addiction to Bunny Jow. Look, I have a baby addiction for Bunny Jow. My mom is from Wentworth, okay, which means she understands how to cook. There was a place, an Indian place just around the corner from Wentworth called Natraj, uh, which, is like, which is like their marketplace. And my mom can make a biryani loose hands. Like she carries Ilachi in her bag. If she found leftovers, half a glass of, glass of water, three eggs, and half a peeled potato, she could make you a lamb biryani right now. And you know she's legitimate because we call it Ilachi and not cardamom. It's not cardamom. And there's it's, only one. There's three for a booby trap. Just like, because it's always, biryani is like the original prank show and I get all three all the time because I have the biggest helping. <laughs> I don't serve uh, biryani or curry here but my kitchen manager is from Peter Marysburg and Shital uh, always makes me a little special something something so let's make a bunny chow at the Goliath Comedy Club so we'll make our own bunny. Please can we? Right, come let's go upstairs to the okay, VIP okay. section. This is upstairs. We've got a, a beautiful cigar lounge, we've got a whiskey bar and we've got curry. It smells Delicious. Yes. Well, very okay. special. All the things have to smell delicious. It's amazing that you've got a sheetal for yourself. Well, I have a, a sheetal. 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 Uh, for myself. And then, uh, because we don't make bunny chow, she kind of does the special for me. So, amazing. super, super simple. What okay. we do is grab a knife and uh, grab a roll. So, what we're going to do is you're going to just cut a little hole. Well, as big as you'd like. I've never made a bunny like this before. There you go. So, so then you can, yeah, then you just get your fingers in there and just empty it out as much as you can. Just like that. So now you have a hole. Grab a spoon and dish up some curry mm, into, mm, your, mm. into your bunny chop. And we've got some danya. Of course. Not coriander or cilantro. No elagi because of my instructions. 
Then that's not a curry. Hey, hey, don't go and enjoy the curry without any food. With both hands. Peace of mind is the way you will eat. Mm. Mm. With the face of happiness. Mm. This curry is amazing. I know it's amazing because my nose is running. You said you wanted an authentic Durban curry, and if it doesn't make your nose run, is it an authentic Durban curry? How would you describe your style of comedy? The honest answer is that my style of comedy is honest. A lot of comedians kind of draw their comedy from current affairs and what's happening in the media. Uh, for me, I draw my stories from my life. Why do you think people should tell jokes? To make people happy. On the spot, a gag with Mela in it. What I love about Mela is Mela pretend to be an authentically Indian show, then they come and criticize Indian cuisine made by authentic Indian people, and you say, no, it's not a real curry if it doesn't have ilachi in it. I mean, if the curry doesn't even have ilachi in it. And who gave you guys the right to make rules about where ilachi must and must not be used? I'm like, if you have ilachi, put it in a bag. Put it in a bag, then put it in a pot so that you can remove it. Ilachi is actually the brain of my existence. Not only do you have your own comedy club, you also have your own show on SABC3, Larger Than Life. I've always wanted to do a talk show. Um, and specifically a South African talk show, in the sense that I feel like in South Africa at the moment, all of us are PR. So if you're in the public space, whatever we see, social media, TV, it's all kind of gone through a filter. And I'm looking to get under the skin and get an unfiltered version of South Africa's favorite people. And so far, so good. What is it like having a live studio audience? Best feeling in the world ever. There's just something about having that power over an audience and A, making them laugh, and then having them kind of on the hook waiting for the next one. I love how there's so many different elements to the show. Firstly, we've got our DJ, The Cut, who is a weird looking guy from Boxburg. We also have our unprofessionals, who are three comedians who kind of rotate. We have two of them on the show at a time. A, they help me write, but B, they also help me bring the comedic element to the show when we have different features, inserts, and of course we play games like 29 Seconds and we do random facts and pop jokes, which all just uh, helps us make sure it's comedy. Awe, awe, awe. Good evening and welcome to tonight's show of Larger Than Life with me, Jason Goliath. That's a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, go mad and welcome the incredibly beautiful Leanne Liebenbaum! Because they're fun! Let's go. Just get your leg back. I was on your show and you didn't dance with me. I only dance with people I know I can dance better than. You once quickly come dancing, I left like at f after five weeks. No, you're dancing with me right now. You owe me a dance. So I'll give you one dance on the stage. Let's go to the stage. I'm hosting the show, guys. I'm hosting the show. <laughs> Bollywood, Bollywood. Chamna, <laughs> chamna. Uh, 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 okay, uh, Other way, yeah, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. And then we don't kiss, but we look lovingly in each yeah. other's eyes. We never kiss, but we get close and we embrace. I'm doing the eyebrow. <laughs> what are the highlights for you doing comedy? The highlight for me, comedy was, was definitely going to JFL, which is just for laughs. It's the Montreal International Comedy Festival. Think about it as it's the mecca of stand-up comedy, like all the biggest stand-up comedians in the world, from Dave Chappelle to Trevor Noah, all at this huge festival in Canada. And I got invited to perform at the festival, which literally I get goosebumps now. Where to from here? Man, I want to be the best actor in South Africa, so just going to work as hard as I can to make as many people laugh as I can. A question I absolutely love asking what advice do you have for aspiring comedians out there my advice is go and watch as much local stand-up as you can and then write your own jokes have fun and do the funny that makes you laugh not the funny that you think is gonna make the audience laugh and I think that's the advice I wish I got before I started Jason thank you so much for playing with me and for making me laugh so much you were laughing and then you were eating bunny chow with no ilachi with me <laughs> go well stay being rockstar thank you Mela love you Sanbomela.